Hi folks, the goal of this brief video is just to give you a basic course introduction, especially if you haven't um, taken a course from me before or if you haven't even taken an online class before. Uh, different teachers set up their online classes in different ways, so even if you have taken online classes, it may be uh, useful to look at what I tend to do in terms of running the course. We are now on what is called the home page. You can tell because over here in the left toolbar, home is highlighted. And on our home page, at the top, you'll see recent announcements. And you can click those open here. Uh, in week one, I'm going to have you do an assignment where you'll actually set up your email uh, to forward to the email that you like and you'll actually set up your canvas account so that you'll actually get these into your email which is really great because I send one of them in this particular class every single day sometimes uh, a couple times a day if something changes in the course and I need to notify you of that you'll see this little photograph that my husband took and you'll also see some links down here the welcome link uh, the week one materials, the week two materials, and the week three materials because this class is only three weeks long. On this side under home page you'll see the link to the syllabus which I'll be asking you to look at uh, during um, the week one materials and the announcements that are posted here are archived here as well under announcements. Modules is where what you click on to get to the weekly folder modules. You can also link to them here directly from the home page, so you can do it either way. Then we see that there are the discussion boards are here. Those discussion board links are also provided in the modules, so you don't need to click over here, but should you wish to get to the discussions, they are over here. The grades that you will be earning are recorded here. And then there's a few other things. NetTutor is a service that's free to Ohlone students. You can do things like uh, get help with papers there. Usually you need a little lead time. You need to give them, oh, maybe a day or two you submit the paper and then they'll give you feedback on it. So that can be really helpful if you're having trouble uh, with writing. And then there's some links to other Ohlone services in here. And Starfish is a notification system that will notify uh, you uh, via email if you're you know, missing some work. It's, it's automatically generated. So that is uh, something that we will use in the class too. Down this other toolbar here in green, you'll see that your account is up at the top that will normally have a picture there. In week one, you'll be adding a picture to your account of some sort. It can be of you or of something else that you like or want to have represent you. It can be here. And then your courses, dashboard, kind of the same thing with courses, and calendar. The calendar feature in Canvas is not so great. It doesn't record everything that needs to be done. So I would not rely on the calendar feature in our class. If you want to use it, you can but I'll show you what you should rely on instead in a minute. And then here's your inbox. Very important thing is where you do your email communicating with me and with other students if necessary in the class right here. When you do have an email, a little icon will pop up to let you know um, that there is an email there. So I'm going to click onto the welcome and orientation, just kind of show you where we're at. This is the first folder here. If you click here, there's this is where you found the orientation video it was located in this link here. Uh, be sure you check those things out that are in there and don't miss that. When you come into the week's materials, notice there's a lot of stuff posted in here. And the first thing you should always do, you'll notice the week is at the top, the date, um, what we're covering that week. And if there's an exam, then it's posted here and then you click open the announcements and agenda link. So let me open this a little bit more, make this a little bit bigger. Okay, we'll just pull it over. And what you'll see here is that there's all this stuff. When you see an item in blue, it's a hyperlink, so you can click it and get there directly in that way. I want you to read all this. Now what I would do is, if I were you, is I would take this and copy it, put it in a Word doc, and print it off, and then actually check the items off as you do them, because this class moves so quickly, then you won't get behind and you won't miss stuff. So here you'll see the announcements, 
um, and then the materials we're going to cover and what day. And then for Monday, this is what you need to do. Again, if an item is in blue, it's a hyperlink. If it's not in blue, it, I've highlighted it in green just to kind of point out like, hey, these are the important things you need to actually do this week on this day. And so for Monday, these are the things you're doing. You'll see this note in pink. This is just something I'm releasing the class a little earlier than I normally would. Um, a few students wanted to get in there and kind of look around, so I'm going to release it a little earlier, but um, I haven't posted all this other material at the time of this video recording. Um, but then it tells you for Tuesday, for Wednesday, for Thursday, what we're doing, and you can take a look at that. So I hope that you're finding this video helpful and that it's useful to you. If you have any questions about how to navigate in the course, what to do, how to do it, please communicate with me because I have taken online classes myself and sometimes it's very confusing and it just helps to kind of touch base. So reach out to me if you need some help. After you read the announcements agenda, you'll return here to the week one folder and then you'll find the materials that you need to do there. So here's what you're going to do logging into the textbook. Here's what you're going to do for the student info sheet and so on. So you'll go through each of these items and complete them. And then here's your introduction board. Note that it's due by noon and there's a second post due by almost midnight, 11.59 p.m. that day. Then there's two quizzes that you need to take. And all of this material is from week one and you find out what to do and when by clicking on the announcements and agenda and then following those directions to complete these items. I will look forward to seeing you soon and um, let me know if you have any questions.